series Gems of Goa Covid Hero series I'm Alicia Fernandez well in today's episode we have with us a dietitian uh, somebody who is important in this particular point of time especially when a lot has been said and done regarding covid and immunity boosters so uh, to get some more insights uh, previously to we had interviewed a dietitian and now again we are interviewing because this is a main phase and this is the time when it is a need to understand how can one boost immunity in this crucial time uh, well today i have with me a uh, dietitian richa shet talawlekar hi richa welcome to prime tv hello hi Richa, first of all, if you could just give us an insight about uh, what, how, how is things right now, and uh, what, what do you feel like? How can one boost immunity at this particular point of time? The quickest tip that you can give us right now. <laughs> yes, uh, because I have seen there are so many people who have lost their lives in this pandemic. Okay, from doctors to you know people who are daily wages. so those people have lost their life in this pandemic it is very essential for us to boost our immunity and simple things the things from our kitchen itself will boost our immunity naturally so we okay. actually don't have to get like you know supplements from outside or take certain things which have been like marketed as immunity boosters very right. very you know simple things like turmeric pepper all those things helps in boosting our immunity So no, if I if I may ask you a little bit more in depth kind of a question in which uh, if you could give us an insight, like you said, uh, there are a lot of household uh, items which play an important mm. role in boosting immunity. So if you could mm. just tell us, like, what are these that you are uh, referring to? Okay, so household things can be haldi. Haldi we use in our fish curry. We use mm. it for marination. We okay. are used to having haldi milk since. since a childhood okay yeah. the second thing is pepper pepper also is very essential lemon grass tulsi leaves everybody has you know this type of leaves at home especially tulsi most of the hindus will definitely have it okay so you can add all these things together and make like a kasai or kada as we all say and this is like, like highly marketed these days but we indians we used to have it since ages So this okay. thing, I'll I'll just give you a quick recipe. You need just pepper, okay, mm -hmm. haldi, cloves, cinnamon, uh, lemon grass, tulsi leaves. Boil all these things together. If you have like indigestion issues or so, you can add even jeera or coriander seeds or even ajwain to it. If you are a diabetic, add a little of methi seeds or methi powder. Boil this together like for ten minutes or so. then you can just strain it out add a little of lemon juice and honey if you want to or just have it with lemon juice yeah that's it that is how you make the kasai and it can be the best replacement for your normal black tea or you know even green tea because it okay. contains everything everything which is all natural and which is present in our kitchen exactly i think that is something which i think everybody has in their kitchens and uh, yes. i think a lot yes. of people are aware but quite a lot of them are looking out for alternatives are looking out to the net and right now everybody is checking on to google ki how can one boost immunity and there are a lot of things said and done so people are do not know or you know uh, are very much confused because uh, too much of information and too less of information both play a okay. very uh, dangerous uh, impact upon people's life so uh, mm -hmm. also if i may ask you one more particular thing is about uh, when we have read with regard to uh, people uh, nowadays are uh, succumbing to covid 19 because of comorbidities so uh, it, in this scenario uh, what are the things that they need to take care of and uh, how it varies if you could just give us an insight okay so comorbidity is basically having two or even more than two disorders together for example if you are a diabetic patient there is a tendency that you might even have high blood pressure uh -huh. or high lipid profile so what happens is when you have like two to three disorders together there is a tendency of you know recovery is much more in slow phase so, so it is essential that you all include a diet which is well balanced simple things like you know processed food should be avoided limit on your sugar salt and excess of fat intake uh if you are taking some medications 
please visit your doctor or you can just call or inform the doctor if your sugars are fluctuating and if you are a hmm. type 1 or type 2 diabetes patient there is a tendency yeah, there are different types yeah so there is a tendency because of stress you know because of yeah. so many people dying every day even in our goa we must have seen every day people are dying like anything and majority of them have like respiratory diseases they have diabetes blood pressure and they are in their late 60s or you know uh, 50s 40s so yeah. when you have comorbidity you should take extra care because recovery takes a long time So, do you think diet plays an important role in this? Can yes. diet play an important role, rather? If I may ask. Da- yes, yes. Diet can definitely play an important role. Okay. Besides that, the two most important things which will help in boosting immunity, okay, of these people are sleep. If you sleep well, if you take like quality sleep, I can't define quality sleep and in terms of hours. So it depends on individual to individual, mm-hmm. right? so it strengthens the immunity and also i recommend not to use uh, mobile phones one hour before going to bed because of the blue rays which are emitted uh, from the Usually cell it is like you watch something and you go to sleep it's always the tendency mm-hmm. that way yes and stress stress also it can it can definitely increase your sugars it can fluctuate your blood pressure you know how it goes because i have so many members in my family itself they have been you know psychologically they are also like will we get uh, covid because there are so yeah, many people so. in our area itself so yeah there is uh, a tendency of having this fear of getting covid at any point of time but if your immunity is strong and if you take proper precautions you can avoid it because there is no cure as such you can just avoid it i feel exactly i think uh, like like it is said a lot of time that we have to live with covid uh, well on that note i'm going to take a uh, short break on the other side of the break we still have dietitian raja and we are having a wonderful conversation with her about this particular period of how to boost immunity uh, and how what diet is required and we're going to ask her some more questions but on the other side so stay tuned we'll be right back This is Info Media Prime Slot Network, and you're watching Prime. Your voice, your channel. Well, welcome back. I'm in conversation with uh, dietitian Richard Talavikar. Uh, Richard, now if I may ask you about the next uh, phase, as we discussed previously, the importance of diet in immunity boosters. which plays an important role as an immunity booster now if i may ask you the next uh, thing is with regard to how does uh, the immunity boosters which have been prescribed by the ayush department the arsenic al 30 tablets how effective can they play or do they play any important role what do you think oh, yeah so those are just immunity boosters okay and uh, there is very few, few there is very much less data which is supporting uh, those tablets which are given to many people i think in offices and even in different uh, school departments and okay. also so yeah so very few research is being done and it is just a immunity booster it is not kind of a vaccine it cannot mm. cure uh, covid mm. yeah True. which Plus, people need to understand yeah plus there are so many people with comorbidities there are children there are so many you so know age group pregnant also, like that is also not proven as yet so we cannot say like you know and this is a new virus it mm-hmm. has been uh, developed since uh, 2019 so we cannot back up with yeah 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 back up it with uh, this things ha so uh, now if i may also ask you now uh, there's a lot of uh, people who are in different age groups as we all know there are some kids there is uh, youth there is senior citizens boosting immunity for each one is different so what applies to youth may not apply to senior citizen or to your child so um, if you could just give us an, an insight to begin with from children if you could just tell us ki what okay. uh, so children now immunity? yeah so children nowadays they are at home so exposure to the virus will be very very less whereas youth we go to clinics we go to our office so exposure is more and when you take into consideration elderly they have so many co- comorbidities 
so recovery can be a bit slower as compared to if anybody from youth or you know uh, childhood age gets affected so it is essential that all the age group people they eat a balanced diet because we cook like the similar meal for the for everybody in the oh. family right oh. yeah so it is essential that simple things they can do everybody can have kada there is no side effects to it okay if you want for children you can add little okay. jaggery or little uh, honey into it then that was my question to you because yeah. our children they when you speak about kada only they run away and they don't take yeah, it also they can add, yes they can add uh, or uh, or their moms can add little of uh, you know tulsi leaves or mint leaves on top just to make them a bit attracted to that okay and then you'll have to cut down on sugars don't get biscuits don't get packaged food at home if the youth only doesn't eat okay why will the children eat they they don't go and buy right we as youth or you know even elderly people from the family they go outside and they buy such things and uh, if you take into consideration like in you know, march april may those months we used to eat like anything and we used to prepare so many dishes like cakes at home every other page on facebook was <laughs> of uh, cake so you can imagine people were eating lots of carbohydrates lots of uh, simple carbohydrates okay mm-hmm. and they were eating a processed food mostly packaged food pastas and all those things because mm. availability of essential things also was a bit difficult but now okay. i think we all are fine and we get everything easily so it is but very also if i may add to this yeah if i also i may add to this uh, i think it was during the lockdown time when we ate actually healthy food rather than you know going to mcdonald's or going to some other kfc or kind of the outside outlets so right. i think more more like you know the if a lot of people have lost weight uh, during the lockdown uh, of course during because of exercise was not there some people put on weight but actual yes. healthy food i think we ate during the uh, lockdown period this is what i think healthy it will be mostly homemade food homemade but homemade food, right but homemade food also we used to have deep fried food full of sugar ah, food gulab right. jamun cakes all those things <laughs> yeah so So, so even if it was homemade, correct. it was uh, a bit on the unhealthier side. <laughs> it was like after so long, everybody was at home, so it was like a treat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <And it's>, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So also now, as you were mentioning about uh, this particular thing, that about kids. Now, so I may ask you about youth. What are the things that they need to uh, include maybe in their diet? Okay. Ah, uh, they can have uh, fruits and vegetables. Carry if you are going to office. Carry at least two fruits. any fruits okay so we are concentrating more on vitamin c nowadays so if you want you can take a supplement there is no harm in taking supplement you can carry orange you can carry amla pomegranate any type of fruit which is seasonally and locally available should be carried and uh, carry home food because there was a tendency that people mostly used to have from the canteens and now they are closed i suppose correct, canteens correct. are closed so people will will eat from home even if it is simple you know rice with fish curry or dal that is sufficient enough come home and eat much more healthier at night so that is what i feel you should eat whatever is cooked at home itself and try to avoid preservatives as much as possible there are people who even add maggi cubes or you know yeah. uh, uh, what what do you say maida products like macaroni mm. or uh, mm. biscuits in their diet so try to avoid those things simple yeah. goan food can be consumed and you can you can boost your immunity also if i may ask you one more thing with regard to uh, a lot of people say that you know you should eat after uh, maybe one hour or something of that sort on regular basis so should it be should, should people eat uh, like after one hour half an hour or, or should people like you know eat at breakfast then directly lunch and then directly dinner what I what do you think having yeah i believe in having small and frequent meals so for if you are having breakfast it is essential that you have something for your mid morning especially if you have the tendency of getting acidity or you know uh, digestive issues if you if you are having say a fruit in between then you won't feel very very hungry for your lunch Your yeah, lunch will automatically be less, and if you are a person who doesn't like to exercise or so, if you have limited quantities for each meal, then weight loss also will be much easier. Well, 
i think uh, yeah. that is something which people uh, had a question because that was one of the things which we had got a uh, question with regard to uh, also now if i may ask quickly ask you as we are running uh, short of another uh, break uh, time so if you could just uh, quickly give me an insight about senior citizens as well senior citizens should stay at home as much as possible <laughs> okay difficult <And> ask <laughs> yes i'll just give you a quick uh, you know menu plan or something for them in the mm-hmm. morning if they do not have any comorbidities in the morning have a warm glass of uh, water you can even have lemon water breakfast should be a, co- a combination of complex carbohydrates plus protein so they can have like omelet chapati or they can even have uh, paneer bhurji with uh, roti or multi grain roti in between any type of fruit can do or you can have kada you can have uh, what is a jeera water Mm. Mm-hmm. then uh, lunch will be normal govan fish curry rice if you are a vegetarian rice dal bhaji any bhaji which is traditionally prepared with coconut and everything so don't restrict on your coconut it won't increase your cholesterol you can add coconut yeah. in your bhaji yeah but try to restrict on uh, on lit- uh, try to restrict on fat so fried okay. fish instead of fried fish have curry fish or grilled fish in the evening time you can have again kada with some almonds or seeds because they are good source of uh, omega 3 and they contain good amount of fiber as well mm-hmm. i recommend you to exercise in the evening half so if it is not possible to go outside do something at home itself you can do surya namaskar if there are very few people residing in your apartment you can do like staircase workout you can do stretching you if you have like treadmill or cycle at home use those equipment because there are so how, many people how important yeah. maybe walking is to this can walking Walk. be another thing yeah yeah even if you walk for 30 minutes every day it is sufficient enough okay, okay. then you can cut down on your dinner or the other meal which is coming up and dinner try to have it early and have uh, less of carbohydrates so you can have chapati you can have uh, what is that uh, besan chila khichdi those things are very healthy instead of having poori and pav because poori and pav nowadays people feel those things are healthy and you never know people go and touch pav and poori and see if they are fresh or not correct, so correct, correct. chances are so chances of uh, you know getting infected is much more if you do that so home made or home cooked food is very essential and you should include it every day definitely well we're going to slip into another short break uh, on the other side we're going to take questions which you have sent us and we are going to answer to all of those questions so stay tuned we will be right back this is info media prime slot network and you're watching prime your voice your channel well welcome back to our conversation with dietitian richa shet talawlekar Richa welcome back uh, and now this is the yes. moment which everybody has been waiting for it's because uh, they have sent their questions a lot of our viewers have sent us questions and uh, they have not revealed their identity so i think we will not take the names and the numbers also which have through which we got the questions but uh, we will definitely address to a lot of questions that have come across so far so to begin with uh, the first question that uh, we can take is what is immunity boosters for asthmatic patients is there any difference Uh, between asthmatic no, and uh... no 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 but i think if they are given certain medicines they should continue with those medicines and they okay. should eat a balanced diet so there is nothing like you know immunity boosters for asthmatic asthmatic patients also so no like if uh, if you just uh, just to get a little bit of understanding in this is that uh, uh, the diet does it vary by any chance it is almost the same there is no risk. there is only a restriction to you know too much of processed food and uh, if they have certain foods which will trigger their asthmatic condition so those foods they have to avoid and take proper precautions when you're going outside especially when you're outside that's what you suggest yeah and if any if, if any doctor has prescribed vitamin c or vitamin d tablets they can take it even zinc nowadays it is prescribed right so if they are given those medicines or oh, sorry supplements they can take no side effects so yeah exactly that's what i what i want to ask you is that uh, having supplements is better having uh, replacing the supplements having uh, the fruits is better like you know the fruits also have certain uh, yes. yeah. food, which is better food, natural food or is, like- food is better but there are few people who don't get access to such things for example there are people who don't like seeds they don't like almonds walnuts 
so those Correct. things are easily present those things are good sources of vitamin e now vitamin c when it comes to richer sources amla guava people don't like it right Correct. even i don't like it so <laughs> if i want to have amla i'll have amla pickle mm. okay so do, by if i do that i'll incorporate at least some source of vitamin c in my diet vitamin d richer source is sunlight so if you have exposure mm. to sunlight why not you you'll definitely get your vitamin d and how But much ex- exposure you should have like at least 15 to 20 minutes a day and morning sun right dinner. morning morning time yeah and as we age and majority of indians are vitamin d deficient because correct, of correct. Our, because of our jobs and because of our living conditions so diabetic patients especially they need vitamin d in their diet and if you have good source of vitamin d your weight loss tendency also becomes a bit quicker oh that is okay <laughs> yes so you need your vitamin c vitamin d you even need omega 3 omega 3 we all go ones are having in our diet it is found in fish it is found in mm-hmm. eggs so we don't need as such but there are few people who don't like such things and so they are you know, on the lower side so mm-hmm. yeah so for them it is advisable okay okay so uh, the next question that uh, we can take right now is uh, age 33 male primary hypertension i think this is a condition and in this how can you boost uh, immunity i think this is what they want to ask especially if you could just address maybe a middle age if you could mm-hmm. uh, address middle age uh, having primary hypertension and that what what can be done and what is the thing that needs to be included can, in the diet you can you can include a diet which is well balanced which is healthy enjoy whatever you are eating because life is short okay limit on your salt intake eat home food as much as possible processed food even oats okay oats is highly processed if you oh, have yeah. oat gr- yeah if you have oat groats it is much more better oat groats uh-huh. is a type of oats okay so if you have it it is much more better because it is good source of fiber the uh-huh. one which we eat here in goa which is quaker oats i suppose yeah uh, yeah so those things are highly processed so it just takes like 2 to 3 minutes for cooking so mm. eat which is homemade so even if you have say poha even if you have upma in the morning it is okay rava, what, how, how do you suggest rava about it is rava, that like rava is fine rava is fine you can make upma out of it you can make uttappam mm. out of it don't make sheera because sheera again it will have sugar if you are making it out of jaggery then it is fine but again in restricted quantities Mm. yeah so you can eat anything but again in restricted quantities because i being a foodie i love to eat and if i as a dietitian tell people not to eat and they see me somewhere eating they will definitely complain so it is so it is very important when you are giving even counseling to the patient no you should tell them like properly what all you can eat what all you are supposed to restrict and even quantities if you explain to them exercise if you explain to them it becomes much easier exactly definitely uh, okay so the next question uh, is about how to boost immunity of a person who underwent heart bypass surgery who is also having a high bp and diabetic which are in control yeah those people need a very strict plan because their immunity itself is on the lower side so th- for those people they have to include like complex carbohydrates in their diet good source of proteins especially if they go for vegetarian proteins it will be much better they should uh, practice good hygiene hygienic you know practices like uh, washing fruits and vegetables properly once they get it from the market they're supposed to cook food thoroughly so people who have like half fried egg or you know mm. uh, salad uncooked you know salads those things have to be a bit on the restricted side boil rather would but boil be better boil will be kind of bhaji you know any type of bhaji mm-hmm. and if you are having like raw salad you are supposed to wash it properly because mm-hmm. nowadays people use lot of pesticides and uh, there is a t- tendency of getting is infected a, very easily exactly is there any particular way in which you can wash it there's a lot of things said and done but if you could just give us an okay. insight you can, you can add a little of you can add a little of salt or even uh, baking soda in water keep fruits okay. or vegetables in it for around uh, half an hour or so and then again you wash it properly with clean water so mm. i practice doing that even people can do it okay it is a bit okay. time consuming uh, but yes <laughs> <laughs> and for how long if i may ask you about that 
keeping to keep it for half an hour half an hour okay okay yeah. so okay there's another last question uh, we quickly take this one as well uh, if a person has ulcerative colitis how does she boost the immune system uh, because of covid 19 okay they have to exclude inflammatory anti inflammatory foods okay so they'll okay. have to like restrict on milk and wheat products because those things might cause irritation if mm-hmm. you exclude those things and include a proper nutrient rich diet then you can definitely can boost your immunity yeah richa if you could just give us maybe a quickly four healthy tips uh, to for our living at this particular point of time okay uh, first of all i want to say when you wake up in the morning thank god okay because there are lots of people which, which are you know dying around us and we should be thankful enough that we are alive we are with our family and we have everything we should be thankful second thing you can do is practice some yoga meditation you can maintain even a journal and write all the things you are grateful for that is called gratitude principle so you can practice gratitude which will really help you third will be to have a balanced diet stressless yeah. and exercise in the morning if you exercise in the morning it is much better because by the end of the day we are already tired so even if you exercise for 30 minutes a day it is very good it will keep you healthy it will keep you mentally fit it will also reduce your stress talk to your family members talk to your partners and discuss what all issues you are facing that will even help in keeping your mind a bit calm So yeah this will be four essential tips rather than you know only diet diet because in combination with diet you need proper sleep you need proper uh, rest you need good mm-hmm. exercise so yeah those things are important Yes indeed definitely Okay I think you answered a lot of questions thank you so much Richa for taking time off uh, and uh, coming on to our show and addressing to such uh, a lot of questions and, and Yes uh, this is something which uh, we have been doing to uh, educate our audience and give them an insight about what things they need to follow during covid uh, it was great talking to you richa thank you so much once again uh, thank you so much for having me on your show well thank you so much richa uh, it was great having you uh, in deed this is another episode which we gave an insight about uh, how to boost immunity during this covid scenario we will bring to you some more uh, insights and topics on the other side and the next episode so keep watching your favorite channel prime tv keep watching prime